The dwarves have been defeated at the Battle of Dale, and now the Iron Hills is under threat and besieged by the armies of evil. What's up, guys, and welcome back. We're here with another Dawnless Day siege for you today, and today we have the Siege of the Iron Hills. We are using the Last Breath submod, which does add the Iron Hills faction, and today four Iron Hills armies are taking on four evil armies. We have two Eastling armies. We have a Runic army as well, and we have Dol Guldur here as well. So we've got a mix of evil men and orcs here. And uh, yes, Khan also is a... Uh, which have, actually have a bit of a rework. They have a new uh, icon, or like, um, like logo instead. So they've changed that, which I'm a big fan of. I'm kind of get behind that. It looks quite nice. But yes, Khan is also a last breath faction. We've got some of these uh, berserkers here ready to go into battle with their big axes showing off their... Flexing their muscles as well before they go in against the Dwarven armies. But yes, it's a, a big one here today. We have a 20,000 man, well, Orc and Dwarf siege, I guess. Uh, we have 9,600 Dwarves against about 11,000 Orcs and Evil Men. So it's certainly going to be a fun one. It was a uh, scenario that we did on the uh, on the server a little while ago. It looks like already there's been a bit of a combat over here. We actually have some cavalry going in. So we have some uh, some gar Carnage Cataphracts here, and they are taking on, looks like some uh, some Carnage Hunters here, and some Manic Warriors, and looks like some, maybe some bi uh, boar, uh, boar Hunters as well maybe, but yeah, they're, they're in there, they've actually taken quite a few losses, we're down to 46 out of 70, as they're being chased out. But yes, this is a scenario we did on the channel, um, well, on the, oh, sorry, on the server a little uh, a little while ago, uh, earlier this week. It was quite a quite a fun one. Um, there certainly was uh, great to have some like some, some newer players there that we uh, we don't usually play with as well. Try and see uh, like just to try and grow that community. It's always great. We are getting close to like eleven hundred members there now, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, it was certainly an interesting one. I certainly think there was probably some improvements we could make, but it still kind of was like fun. And I know you guys do enjoy seeing the dwarves in battle, so. I thought I'd show it off anyway. And um, we are using the da uh, Siege of Dabaran map, which is uh, on the uh, Steam Workshop. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link for it in the description, uh, along with obviously Dawnless Days and uh, the Last Breath a sub mod as well, which are all very, very cool. And um, th there are like three layers. Well, I guess two layers, really. You've got like the, the wall. I guess the bridge, you could argue, is a layer, really. Like, I mean, you could fight and defend for that bridge. And then you've got the, the actual wall here. And there's loads of little, like, side flanking points as well for the uh, for the enemy, which is what, what the dwarves are defending at the moment over here. As you can see, the dwarven bo uh, boar hunters here getting focused down already, along with pikes and uh, javies as well, all getting shot at. I'm sure this is doing a fair amount of damage to them. It's actually quite dark in here. You can't really see dwarves particularly well but the boar hunters are here they're looking pretty awesome they look almost black and white in this lighting it's kind of, kind of looks quite nice actually but yeah they're doing their bit there and it looks like uh, they are ready to go but yeah so uh, i don't know how much fighting there is immediately um so i'm just gonna fast forward for now it looks like uh, it looks like there's trolls maybe moving up which is good to see all okay getting ready to be sent in they're actually sending up more and more Infantry, I think maybe to the front lines. Uh, they have pr plenty of siege equipment, which I don't think they're going to need all of it. They've got a whole wall, it looks like, ready of siege towers. Bring up an onager as well. So yeah, they are ready to go over here, are the attackers. And yeah, do let me know in the comments who do you think is going to win. Are you Team Dwarves or are you Team Evil? I would be interested to see who you are backing. And yes, if you do want to do want to see more Dawnless Days action, and or just generally more Lord of the Rings content, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment show support. It really does help out the channel. And yeah, I'm I'm really excited for this one. It's a long one as well, so make sure you get your snacks, get yourself some drinks, and sit back and relax. As this weekend gets underway, we have some glorious Lord of the Rings action for you guys. And yeah, I mean, he's very ag booming. I th just firing into the, uh, to the dwarves here. I already killed a fair few of these cannon hunters. Also the boar hunters over here have taken some decent casualties. And they are shooting the reserves as well, these pikes as well, so they can affect a few casualties. Um, what do the dwarves have over here in reserve? They have some axe infantry, which are like medium tier, and then they've got the matter quarries as well. They've got like some decent units over here, Iron Hill crossbows as well. They might want to try and shift them forward, see if they can uh, shoot some of these like lancers, maybe, or the uh, the shock infantry, like the Carnage Berserkers or Eastern Legionaries. Over on the wall over here, looks like the, uh, the defenders are mounting up troops now. Got Iron Fortress Guardians over here. They're getting ready. We've got uh, Sons of the Hill. We've got 
some uh, dwarven company as well, some like lower tier stuff. So yeah, a good range of troops coming in here to uh, help defend these dwarven company. Oh, they're low tier. They'll put up a good fight, I'm sure. But we will see. But yes, after their defeat of Dale, the Iron Hills has had to turtle up and defend its homeland. Erebor has fallen, but it doesn't mean that the uh, the Iron Hills has to fall. And I think we have Dane actually here, so I guess Dane in like this weird universe did survive. I don't know where he is. Oh, I think he's back here, maybe. And it's the other Dane that's like with these bright red axe, which looks awesome. Look at that. What a badass he is. Looks awesome. And then you've got like lots of reserves actually. A lot of like Iron Hill troops over there and just Arid Mithrin troops. So it should be a fun one. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and yeah, looks like looks like they have a bit of infantry combat over here. So there you go. We've got Archetribalists going in. Oh, this is going to be a problem already fighting under these uh, archways here. Let's see if we can get a... The lighting is slightly better this way. I don't really know. It, it's not great anyway under here because it's uh, under like an archway. But you can see Dor was there on the right there pushing the uh, the attackers back a little bit. I guess Archetribalists battling away there. We've got well, we've got Dorman Boar Hunters and we've got the uh, Dorman Axe Infantry going in as well. We'll keep an eye on this. It looks like Archetribalists are already losing, but they are Levy Infantry. I expected uh, no less really from them. Looks like over here as well, we have uh, an Easting Army that's setting up to take on another assault over on here. It looks like we've just got a, an Iron Hill Pike unit, and there's also a Spear unit under here as well. The Karnan uh, River Guard also under there as well. We've got Runic Warriors as well pushing up, and they are getting ready. And this is the site they have. The crossbows haven't started firing yet on the walls. So they're safe for now. But uh, this gate, I guess if they, can, if they can knock that down, they could, behind it, there is a, uh, a Dwarven Company unit waiting. It's not a hard unit to break through. So this could be a, a good a good uh, access point for the, for the attackers. That is for sure. Over on this side, also waiting to set up over here. I mean, I was playing in this one. And I uh, had totally forgotten that I set up troops over here, so the cav came rushing through, and it kind of actually like kind of surprised me. It was like, oh god, the cav's here. Luckily, my like uh, my axes and my uh, like axe throws could actually do some damage, and the spears I got in there tried to do some damage. So yeah, it was kind of a bit of a mess of a defense on this side, but we're setting up now and defending the actual like narrow choke points on that flank there, just to try and you know threaten the attackers on other flanks but here we go runic warriors they're getting into position the dwarves here they need to set up they're kind of just looking a bit sideways at the moment but yeah look at this it's a sea of siege towers now landing on the walls it does look cool i definitely want to try and do like an umbar scenario would be quite a fun one to do with obviously like them being the new faction we definitely got to try and check them out that's for absolute sure We've got Variag Bowman going through along with some axes. So Loki Rim. Nothing uh, too fancy going in just yet on that flank. Over here, Archetribalists are sort of turning around. And also we have trolls going in now. So Olokai already been telling us this early. Commitment from the Olokai. But I guess they want to try and break through. They are going on to the next line of defense over here, which is pikes and spears. The pikes got banged up quite a lot though. So that might actually be a, an okay move there by the trolls. It's probably the perfect unit to kill off these pikes. The crossbows here trying to uh, retreat so they can shoot into the Olokai, as the uh, crossbows are the real anti, the real anti troll in this scenario. Olokai here also going into the Dwarven Axe Infantry, who they've got to now battle along, away with. Look at this, look at the layer of siege towers just waiting. They all go in and then just drop their. Drop their ladders or drop their uh, their ramp. Have we got, have we got oil? Uh, no, it looks like it's been removed. That's good. You just hear the sound effects. You're kind of like, is oil still pouring? They can go these two units. It's the uh, runic warriors going in against uh, the levies. These dwarven levies. They're bowing away down there. Yeah. 
Keep up the good fight, men. And here we go, landing on the wall now. We have uh, Sons of the Hill going in here against... Looks like some runic warriors. They're going to probably chop through them. I mean, these are elite shock which They're just thrown onto the wall here. The dorms early, I will add. Certainly, if you put archers up here to just, like, shoot the across... Um, like, if you put archers on, like, an angle... And you could, like, fire along the wall and hit these shock which quite nicely. Got, uh, Iron Fortress Guardians, I think, looking to try and evac, but, uh, currently stuck on the wall. Iron Fortress Guardians, though, are pretty good in combat, so it wouldn't be the end of the world having them in there. Yeah, the Sins of the Hill battling away. And then what's going on along the wall over here? We've got Shock Infantry, very uh, warriors going in. They're losing against... Not against these crosswords, are they? No. I don't know what they're losing against. But it's about to get a lot worse for the Iron Hill uh, Fortress Guardians. Or the Iron Fortress Guardians, sorry. Because they've got another unit here. Rudic Savage is now dropping onto the wall. And these are like a light Shock Infantry unit, but they are brutal. Or some may say Savage. Yeah, they're going in there now. Dorm Company also starting to lose over on this side here. We've got Wraiths over here now landing as well. So Dogal Door throwing forward its troops. They're losing. They're light melee infantry, I think. That's why they're losing. But they are also unbreakable. They are an undead unit after all. So, yeah, they, these guys just refuse to uh, to break. They will die, fight to the last man. A bit like um, Berserkers do. I'm pretty, uh, you never see Berserkers break. It's because they do just die instead. The Glaives over here, they're starting to get involved in the fight. Looks like the flanks are, uh, well, I don't know if they're actually fighting yet. They might just be standing looking at each other. Yeah, these guys are still standing looking at each other. What about the fight on the other side? Are they winning or no? Well, Evil's winning. And in fact, riding those, uh, those Khan and Hunters that could be killing those trolls. Manic Warriors in there battling away with Eastern Legionaries, which are a really solid shock infantry unit. Also, have the old Variag sort of like look to them. Which, if you're an OG Dawn States fan, you would you'd, uh, you'd be aware of. But there you go, Manic Warriors breaking, the trolls carrying on through. Looks like going to chase after these, uh, these other units over here. But yeah, really good work to start off with from the uh, from the Carnage player. Over on this side, looks like as well they're uh, they're being forced to die. Well, forced to die, forced to retreat. But, I mean, shock infantry up against spears and excels. So these spears might not be uh, living too long. They might be quite short-lived indeed. Near cavalry, so yeah, the very egg lands here. Look, they're gonna just, yeah, rear charge the uh, Conan River Guard who have just broken anyway. So there you go. An easy victory there for Evil on that side there. And already the start of the game, 1600 lost. So about a uh, 1000 for the uh, for the defenders. Um, sorry, for the attackers. So the defenders taking a, a fair few more losses, and that's not good because they're already dwarves. They already lose a lot of men the dwarves. Manic Warriors fighting down here, side by side with the Dwarven Company Brethren. And in come those Orcs of Dolgaldor, they're going to mop them up. Oh my god, they've got a lot of units blobbed up here though. Now, this is not a good idea, I feel like, from Dolgaldor. You should not have blobbed this many up. But I guess maybe one of them off the wall. He landed so many units, 
Uh, gets one just the moth wall, but it's just forcing a bigger blob. I mean, these Arid Missing Crossbows over here, right down by the side of the wall. I mean, they've got a pretty nice shot. Bar a couple of units, a couple of uh, models. They have a pretty clean shot into the side of the Gold or Glaives there. And I'm sure every single shot is downing us another Gold or Glaive. I was going on the wall over here. Since the hill, absolutely chewing through these uh, these troops. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. Can see Archfire starting to get involved over here, but I'm not really sure where. Kind of sentries also being set up. I mean, you could just fire artillery and open up a breach. Um, that might not be a bad idea. These are not indestructible, so like they are 100. percent You could just fire over here, get it to like 60, 70 percent, and then uh, and then try and breach it. I don't know. But yeah, seems as though evil is now pushing forward. I mean, once they uh, they get through around here through the abyss. Um, then um, once yeah once they get through the abyss it's over here and onto uh, this this defense already they're already at the ramp um, so it's gonna be pretty impressive I mean assaulting this Iron Hill warriors already here waiting patiently two lines of them these men elite men well they're not really they're actually trained but uh, I guess in the eyes of like most armies in Middle Earth these guys are seen as like elite well trained disciplined they're gonna hold the line their officers ready He's ready to give out the Dwarvish war cries, fight and die for uh, for their kingdom. The Runic Warriors are going through, and also Pole Arms, Locrium Halberdiers, losing. They've beaten the Shock Infantry over here. Looks like that's the uh, the very Egg Warriors beaten back. Now we just have to deal with the, uh, the Runic Savages that are down here. They're killed off by Arid Mithrim Veterans by the looks of it. Go along the wall. We'll see who else is fighting. We've got shocking troops over here. I think this is uh, Mana Quarries. Yeah, they're losing. As are the Dwarven Axe Infantry down there. Yeah, the ma poor Maddox. They are getting, I think, outnumbered. But I mean, look at the sheer mass. The troops just waiting patiently. Look, they're still on top of each other. There's that many of them. The Mana Quarries are currently going overtime. They just kill everyone. Kill everyone that isn't a dwarf. Well, they didn't push back, but just sheer force, I think. Or we'll push down the. I mean, the most of the units still off the wall. So maybe that's why he's losing. Um, pole arms are in. But they're getting focused down. They just can't get close enough. And the uh, the crossbows over here by the uh, by the door focusing them down. We now have a Arid, sorry, a uh, Iron Hill Pikeman unit. They're forming up. And it looks like the uh, the pole arms here breaking. And we've got the, uh, the Spears, the Clan Guards are going here instead. Uh, how wise and I did that really is. When they could be supporting against their um, their opponents. Well, over here. I mean, they could have been anyway. They could have been supporting their allies against the air opponents here. Um, but to the Iron Hill Pikemen, and now I can reclaim the gate. And these uh, Spears are now trapped inside these Clan Guards. Here come more pole arms. Another fresh unit coming in. And if they capture the gate, that's a big win for the attackers. Enemy forces have destroyed an entire unit. More units being broken over here. The glaives are finally being killed off. I think there's a mix of shock infantry and also blowing up. So yeah, the dwarves are holding here for now. They're actually turning this fight around against uh, Goldor Glaives. They've killed so many. And I think it's a mix of crossbows and uh, also the, the dwarves here. 
killing these gold glaze. Poor Dougaldor. Always the runt of Dawn's days, I feel. They never have a, a great time. Oh! That... That orc showed that dwarf that he beheaded him. Poor guy. Might need to send those dwarven company into the battle now. Looks like they're getting set up. Also some, um, some... I admit some crosswords over here. Look at this skin. Point blank range. I'm gonna just fire straight into the flank of those gold oak glaives. I don't know if they have a great shot, really. They're gonna do it anyway. It seems like they're going in. Dwarven company being set up. And look at this. These things are very much inside the walls here. We've got Iron Hill Pikes coming across. Looks like the clan guards are just gonna sit there. Oh, well, they're not sitting there. They're actually getting engaged by Iron Hill Warriors. So, uh, some more of the more well trained dwarves now going in. Battling the Eastlings here. These guys want to get their swords bloodied and kill some evil men. Clan guards are holding out over here as well, doing their best. Got some Matic Warriors as well. I don't know if this is the uh, one that got banged up on the wall earlier. I mean, there's still one dying on the wall. Looks like they are going to slowly take this wall. Uh, Gold of Glaives are winning as well. Um, and it looks like also we've got um, some wraiths and some runic warriors also going to win here. Cav is getting set up as well, rushing over towards this gate. Maybe they're getting ready to rush in because they do hold the gate. Um, but they're getting focused down right now by crossbows. Like, it's actually brutal. The amount of troops that are getting killed there. We're seeing a shock infantry charge. They've uh, got Sons of the Hill. They're going to go inside. Supported by pikes. It's going to be a pretty decisive charge here. And then those guys go. Ready to slash and hack and hammer away you sort of see them going in there the pikes also coming in I mean you need to be careful look at this the pikes I mean they were setting up and then they retreated I think they're going to try and reform maybe uh, but the cav definitely needed to charge into all of that uh, pike unit and the halberds here are losing. They're having a bit of a rough time. We've got crossbows up on this wall as well. We've got uh, Iron Fortress Guardians. I think this is my uh, crossbows. I saw a general right, really close. So I started to shoot at the Wayne Rider general because he he was just there to shoot. He was uh, available. The evil men of these things, and I think also Khan is over here as well, have arrived on this flank. And they are making a, preparing for an assault on this wall over here. Uh, numbers, by the way, at this point, it's 8,200 against 6,700. So the dwarves have started to exact a heavy toll on the attackers now at this point, doing a good amount of damage. Um, but there's still plenty of men still alive on both sides here. Looks like the uh, clan guards and the uh, halberd has actually retreated outside the uh, gate. And you can see there's a bit of a box of crossbows going on right now uh, as the defenders are, aren't really defending. Uh, the, uh, this side anymore. They're kind of pulling troops back. Iron Hill Pikemen starting to retreat along with crossbows. And we also got here. We've got a general here, actually. Iron Guard's general really far up. So that is surprising. We've still got a fair few swords over here. They're going to defend this little, uh, I guess this little corner of this, uh, this city, or this half of the city. So we'll see how that goes. Looks like, uh, Kamul as well being sent up here. Who's the general of the Dolgaldor army here today. And again, what's this? The Carnage Cataphrax dying? What are they going against? Maybe the Dwarven Axe Infantry? I'm really not sure. The Dwarves are still in here. Sons of the Hill actually battling away in the gate. I don't know if they're going to actually carry on the fight. It's a Dwarf up there just butchered that Eastling. Ripping pieces of that Eastling. So they've got plenty of trolls and catapults and uh, ja I mean, Jammies are full ammo. We've got Gulder Pikes as well. They've got some good assets. There's a uh, Olakai over here. It's taken some a bit of a beating. I think seven out of ten. It must have gone into the fight over here. Lost a few, uh, a few uh, trolls. But yeah, they're fighting in over here. It's not really gone anywhere, but they are still fighting on this flank compared to the other flank, which is already crumpled. Uh, the dwarves here are still winning. Well, I I guess fighting because they're um, winning because they're holding. And what about on the other one there over there? It's kind of hard. I do apologize. It's kind of hard to show these um, these choke point fights over on this side because the, the tunnels are a little bit funky with the old camera. Yeah, there you go. The spears and the yeah. I mean, combat even. They're holding against Loki Rim. So that's a, that's a good win there for them. But yeah, the uh, walls starting to get cleared out here by Golder Glaives and various other sort of things. We have got Runic Warriors are now chasing the dwarves off, who are now making a major evacuation. We've got a Dwarven company here and a uh, Dwarven Axe Infantry evacuating 
And they're actually going to be able to uh, surround these uh, Sons of the Hill over here, who are pushing out of the wall, well, out of the gate and into Halberds at the moment. But there's not really anywhere for them to go because they're going to get surrounded by Runic Warriors in a moment. And that will be the end of them. And yeah. I think we're going to see also Cav charging. I mean, yeah, look at this. The, I mean, this Cav keeps charging in. It's not really getting great charges, so it's just charging back with its own pole arm unit. So I wouldn't have done it much benefit for either side. And by either side, I mean the Cav or the Halberds, to be honest. Yeah, there's a good stream of Dwarves now retreating back across there. I don't know if they're finished on this side. I mean, there's still um, some sword set up over here. And I don't know if... They're all going to go back inside, to be honest. There's a lot of dwarves already waiting outside, uh, inside uh, the settlement. They don't need any more over there. The enemy refuses to admit though this is going to be a problem, though. Archers over here. We've got Variag Bowman. They could shoot into the side of all these troops here if they uh, they wanted to. That could do a lot of damage to the uh, to the health of these units. There's a big blob of... Yeah, there's a big army over here setting up. Look at this. Archetribalists. We've got... Carnage Berserkers, Carnage Raiders going in as well. Some really good units coming up. Again, it's kind of hard to show them. I don't know why the, like it's so dark in just this area. We need them to get into the light. Come and fight in the light, men. There you go. Runic Warriors are getting ready. Just the light at Loki you're in, basically, is what they are. They do look cool, though. Clan Axemen, though, apparently the new meta. Uh, Eastling, so I'll be interested to see if that's uh, is actually true. We do have a lot of uh, Javis which they can use, which are pretty useful against things like Dwarves. Uh, as the cavalry over here charges into crossbows, they're trying to kill off these Iron Fortress Guardians. This is Iron Hill crossbows over here. I wonder if the General's in here. I mean, he has been in a lot of combat so far. And he is, in fact, over here. So with the Wayne Rider General. He's over here, and he's actually engaging these uh, these crossbows. We do also have the uh, the Iron Fortress Guardians on the wall over here. They are pretty safe and secure, and they can just quite comfortably. Well, that's not a great angle. Yeah, they can quite comfortably shoot into all the cab, which is over there, and they uh, on the far side. Easy kills for them. Well, hopefully, I don't know if they have how much damage they're doing really at that range, and they're nearly out of ammo, so you need to be careful. Yeah, Carnage Cataphracts, they're definitely about to die. And the enemy has captured the gates, so there's a win for the attackers. They have to capture that gate. Well, well done them. Numbers right now looking like 6,500 against just under 8,000. We have got Aaron Myth from Veterans fighting on the wall over here. They're taking on Wraiths. I mean, the Wraiths will lose, but it will be a long... I mean, it won't take a long time, but it'll take a bit of time to kill them all off. Like I said, they fight to the last man, or the last... Well, well, I guess you call them last man. They're not really men, though, anymore. The last corpse. Maybe that's better. Fight on. Fight on dwarves. Yeah, the fire. It actually looks like this is the final reserves on this side. Wow, they are actually kind of burning out of troops there a little bit. They've got a spear, you know, over here. Wayne Rider spear. This guy's not been sent in yet, but what what his purpose is, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, he's not been sent in. The dwarves look like they're going to win on these flanks over here. It actually just wasn't as much sent on this side as there was on the other. It looks like Khan and these things really went for a real big punch on this side here to try and break through. And yeah, they'll be able to assault very shortly. It looks like their archer fire is already beginning. So they're going to fire into the side of these Iron Hill Warriors. They look awesome to the uh, awesome to the dwarves. They really do. We've got a good selection of dwarves over here. So they're getting ready to go. And look at this guy. He's ready. He's like, yes! Let me kill some Easterlings. I was about to say orcs. There are no orcs here. No orc for him to kill today. Yeah, they're all getting ready. Looks awesome. Get ready, boys. Go kill some orc and some men of the East. Wayne Riders in here, though. They are in real trouble. They are pulling in and out of so many combats right now. 
And that is going to be causing all sorts of problems. Look at this, though. Mad fight going on. Enemy general dead! That is not good. I think that is the Wayne Rider general there. Yeah, he's fallen. And that will cause some uh, losses there. Oh, okay. 10 out of 10 in here now. I mean, I don't think anyone would ever call an Olokai 10 out of 10, but there you go. We've got Ed Warriors there, Mithrin in there as well. They're buying against Locrium Halberdiers. The trolls are in here. It's absolute chaos now. As the Dwarves actually reside out onto the side, sending in more and more men. Or oh, more and more Dwarves. We've got Iron Hill Warriors over here. They're clashing with uh, Gold or Glaives. They're kind of winning, but also kind of losing. We've got Champions of Dol Guldor going in. Uh, Iron Hill Warriors going up against more champions over here. So these are the best shock infantry available to Dol Guldor, the champions of Dol Guldor. Taking on, well, I guess this is Iron, the Iron Hill's best sword unit. It's also one of their own, like, their only sword units. They only have the two. Yeah, they're in real trouble. They're losing. They're also getting surrounded. Champions of Dol Guldor, they're surrounding them. They're going to be able to get a nice rear charge somewhere. Yeah, I mean, they can recharge into all these area from veterans here. Yep, they're going to tie them down. And in they go. Look at that. Ready to get some dwarven flesh into their bellies. Meat is back on the menu, boys. So time to start slicing and dicing. Crossbows, though, they are starting to fire. They're going to hit those champions of Dol Guldor, it looks like. We also have uh, Variag Bowman here getting beaten by Iron Fortress Guardians. I, mean, I didn't think they were good with the Iron Fortress Guardians, but I didn't think they were that good. I actually gained a fair few Sherons. Three Sherons, my gosh. Same with this one. This one's gained two. So I'm taking on uh, Wards of Room. The melee. Don't think they're going to win that one, though. Wards of Room. Still pretty damn nasty shock infantry, that's for sure. Guy there crumpling to the ground like he's a sack of potatoes. What's going in now? We've got Matic Warriors going in. That'll be a little bit better. They'll be able to challenge those uh, wards in their own game. With a big double handing ha double hander mace. Yeah, look at that. Losing now the wards room. We now have Olog High in here as well. I wonder whether uh, Crossbow Fire is affecting these wards. We'll be, we'll be interesting to see. Were there any crossbow volleys come flying in? There certainly will be a few now, I imagine, now with the trolls here ready to smack up these dwarven formations. A lot of units starting to waver over here. There you go. I mean, the dwarves in a bit of a spot of trouble. 5,900 against 6,800. Yeah, they're really getting folks down over here. The pikes are to die. They're really having a bit of trouble there. Goldor Pikes. Still losing though, even though they're in combat against like a tiny ass Dwarven Axe unit. And the uh, Iron Warriors, Iron Hill Warriors over here, refuse to die. They're surrounded by two different uh, champions of Dol Guldor, and they're still refusing to die and go any ground. Yeah. Well, as I say that, they just break. Of course, commentators curse that they do that. Looks like there's a few rally troops that might be able to go back in. Not like they're going to do too much. More Iron Hill Warriors going in. They're going in against Pikes. They are losing, though, the Pikes. You can take them out. It's a big win. Don't get kebabs, dwarves. Do not get kebabs. Do never. You shouldn't really be doing this. Dwarves charging against Gold or Pikes. I mean, they're losing, I guess. Maybe you could, you could try it. Oh, they're back to combat even now. I don't know if I would be trying it now. But I guess, who would want to engage against multiple units of champions of Dol Neither of them are, yeah, a great opportunity. Crossbows over here, starting to get signs by Olokai. I guess just out of fear that they might get more ammo. Oh no, there's another troll over here, so I thought maybe they sent the other troll to go and... This troll here to go and deal with the uh, crossbows, no. They kept in it, it's actually losing now. The melee, it's losing. Unheard of. Look at this, guys. I batter up. What a hit. What a hit. 
And over on this side, the attack has begun. Look at this. There is a sea of carnage. And these slim troops now pushing forward here. The carnage berserkers in there, clashing with the Iron Hill Warriors. This is now a battle of will. Who will give in first? The Iron Hill's banner glistening in the sky. As both sides just shout their war cries. Boo Kazad! Isn't that the Dorman one? Pretty sure. You actually have an action over here. It's probably losing Carnage Raiders. Definitely pulling through, but it's trying to chase these Iron Hill crossbows. Yeah, look at that wavering. Might break. Uh, you have to remember that Khan's is general. He can't really afford to do this, but you just, just pull through that Iron Hill Warrior, I think, to get to this fight. And there you go, because of that, he lost his whole unit. 67 had died up. Crossbows over here executed them. What is this? Eastern Legionaries at 25 men, son to wave and break. Battling away. I mean, those crossbows up there must have an incredible angle. Oh, we got artillery coming in. That would just damage the wall, wouldn't it? I think it, was, I think it did. Just like 3% damage, which is acceptable. But yeah, these crossbows up here. My gosh, look at the angle. They can't even miss. You just fire over there and you hit an Eastling or a, a Karnish chap. But yeah, this is not looking good. It's like, I mean, Karnish Raiders starting to lose and they're wavering really early on. And they're not great axe infantry. It seems like that's the uh, the sort of unit that the crossbows are trying to focus down. Trying to focus on those weak those weaklings. The berserkers will fight on to the very end. Yeah, with their big broadsword hacking and slashing at these cards on the other guard. There's not many in reserve at the moment over here. We've got a couple of runic warriors, uh, the Krim, but I mean, there might be more on the way. I don't know if they're sending troops back around the other side. Ooh, we've got a sneak attack plan, maybe. I don't know. But uh, archers over here, nearly out of ammo. Once they are, they might have to join the fight. I mean, very outbowman on awful in combat. They're actually a pretty good hybrid unit. And it looks like the attackers have taken this side of the city. It has cost them a hand or an arm and a leg and it looks like we're also going to see a bit more of a defense here by the dwarves who are going to try and hold on to this little corner over here i guess they just didn't get their swords out in time something like that and it looks like the assault on this side over here has been stopped or at least like it looks like it's been stopped for now whether there'll be a new one i don't know general dead look at that shaken 130 men it's not good, that is for sure. They're exhausted, which also probably doesn't help. So, if I was the dwarves, I'd just charge on down. Try and break these guys while they're, uh, well, while they're running, I guess. That's what I was going to try and say. It looks like the, the dwarves sending up once again for another battle of the old sword versus kebab stick, aka the pike. Oh, and here come the trolls. So yeah, while dealing with having to just deal with trolls as well, they're also having to dodge like spiky pikes. It's like not a hard life at all in the Dwarven army. Keep smacking, boys. Boom. Knocked aside like five or six dwarves there. Nicely done. But yeah, here we go. The doors still fighting in the front line. Why should they push down? Uh, yeah, they have. Because that's where the original fight is. Yeah, the doors push down. They were being aggressive. Looks like this is Carnish uh, Raid is trying to pull through again. Not sure if it is, but you need to keep an eye on it. But again, I think it's broken. Just like that. Yeah. Enemy general's dead, though. Oh, we've got that iron guy that's been killed over there. 
trying to keep him alive. It seemed like he was just defiant in defending the bridge. There's now more coming across. We've got Aerie Mist from Veterans, looks like. What's that? Is that another Aerie Mist from Veteran? Sons of the Hill. Reserves, um, reserves, and then also Maddox. So there's a fair few troops over here. I mean, if this sun's a hill charge, and they might be able to catch up the Javis and then get onto the next unit. There's also just a weakened shock here that can definitely be defeated. Wolves are probably loving this though. So much blood is being spilt this day. Many of their kin may have died. They've lost over 5,000 now, but they have also leveled the playing fields. It's now 5,200 against, uh, sorry, 4,200 against 4,400. They are retreating. They might lose a fair few troops here. Now is the time for Khan to take advantage to cut as many of them down as possible. It's a wavering is very out Bowman there. Got more trolls coming up. And also we have the Archer over here, still with a bit of ammo, focusing down those retreating Dwarves. There you go, very Axe actually starting to lose, or oh, was starting to waver pretty early on there. I think that's just that, that's been a real problem for the attackers, it's just been that they've uh, they've lost that general, and it's just caused all sorts of morale issues. Got a, a, a Iron Hill Warrior over here, it's starting to waver. I also have a feeling that maybe we could have made the, uh, the Dwarves just a little bit... A little bit weaker. It's always hard though sometimes with the uh, dwarves. A bit easier when it's just dwarves versus like all orcs. Because you know what, like, you know the level. Like the orcs are kind of trash. Evil men, you know, like Khan and these things. Quite well-rounded factions. Could actually maybe put up a decent fight. We have Kamul over here engaged against uh, the dwarves. They're kind of getting chopped down, these dwarves. Look at that, forced out. That's because they're getting piped as well, I think. Well, they're getting surrounded. They're getting, these guys are getting in a lot of trouble, to be honest. They got surrounded by pikes and shock infantry. Yeah, they're getting mercilessly cut down now as they run. Milking those kills there is cool. But yeah, there you go. A little uh, holdout over here, I think, is done for um, by the dwarves. They've now got another sword unit over here. Holding, it's the, uh, the Dwarven Company being sent in, trying to hold the bridge. Are they pulling through? I was just saying, they look like they're pulling through. I think they're trying to pull out, actually. Wards are ruined there with 90 men left. They need to be careful. And then there's a vein in the steps there as well. And there you go again, over on this flank, again, another attack by the uh, by the Dwarves. And it looks like we've got Manic Warriors going in, got all sorts going, being thrown in. Excellent to see. Warriors are very Mithrin. Hold boys for the Iron Hills. Not the aluminum hills or the gold hills, but the Iron Hills. Imagine if there was an aluminum. Uh, aluminum, and why am I saying it like that? It's aluminium. Spend one week in America, and apparently that's uh, enough to start saying it how they say it. Aluminum. Maybe that's how we should say it. We've got a general going in here. Dane himself! King of uh King of the Iron Iron Hills and also I guess King of Erebor as well. He's going in where can we find him? So it's, he's got his Sons of the Hill in there as well. Oh my god, artillery firing him as well. He's got off fire ammo. He's seeing a lot of his own troops, I have a feeling here. It's the uh, dawn play. I think this is just me um, firing, but uh, I was I think I, uh, unfortunately, I did drop, so there was a bit of, so, at this point, I think, uh, my Dane kind of charges on in. He's actually doing okay, though. Dealing, hopefully trying to deal with these Olokai. And go the Spears. Fight on! Kill these damn trolls! Bring them down! There's one going.
God, uh, so is the eye going in as well. I think they're just getting tied down. To be honest. Oh, that's a lot of friendly fire there, I feel like, by the artillery. We're on this side over here. The Dwarven infantry doing some serious business, holding back overwhelming numbers of the men. But these men have got weak wills. They've watched their general fall. And they need to know that the battle is not in their favor. You can see Balance Power is now even. It's not a good thing when fighting the Dwarves. It's about 3,000 on either side now. Mariag Bowman starting to break. Yeah, a lot of troops now starting to break over here. The trolls going as well. Dane was victorious. He lost a few men. It was all worth it in the end. The Berserk is still fighting here against Iron Hill. Uh, Iron Guard, sorry. And various other things. Fight on. Fight on, men. The bridge battle is still raging over here as well. I think it's the, uh, the Dwarven Company. They're still fighting here. We've got some shock which are going in as well. Sons of the Hill. Fighting against pikes. Yeah, they're going to need like a pike unit of their own up there to try and deal with that. Uh, they've probably got some Iron Hill pikemen or some like maybe some dragon slayers. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Yeah, they've got dragon slayers waiting. Send those guys in to deal with the Goldor Pikes. They're not ex excellent Pikes, the Goldor Pikes, but they're, you know, they're something. Oh, sorry, over here. Don't know what that's trying to fire it, whether it's trying to make a breach in the next wall, or whether it's just going to be firing into... It's firing into blobs? Yeah, it's firing. It's trying to shoot this uh, Sons of Hill unit here. Not a great unit to try and shoot. I'll be shooting, trying to shoot all these units that are here in reserve. Don't shoot the unit you're always, like, your men are in combat with. No, 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 no. Yeah, look at that. Mass round on that side. The door was just charge down the hill and managed to route all those guys there. Now they have the numbers advantage, which is never a good thing while fighting the dwarves. Um, does seem as though the attackers did win on this side. I think um, the dwarves were eventually defeated, maybe. I don't really know. I was, uh, like I said, I dropped this point, so I honestly can't remember what happened to my men here. But I think they were defeated. We've got Eastern, uh, no, walls are ruined in here. Maybe all the Eastern Legionnaires are spent. Yeah, still fighting on there. I mean, two elite units here. Sons of the Hill and Wards of Ruin. Both elite shock. Battling away, trying to prove who is the best. I think it might be the Wards of Ruin proving that they're the best today. Let's see, yeah, Sons of the Hill are losing. I mean, that guy's got arrows to the face. That is unfortunate. Battle for the bridge here, though, taking place. Quite glorious, actually. It's awesome. It really does. Almost looks, like, almost looks like a movie. It really does. I mean, men are, like, dying. Like, like that wall of the rune there was, like, literally in kill animation, then got shot by an arrow. Like, it's beautiful. It's like the chaos of battle. Like, you think you're about to die, then you just, like, some third party and gets involved and saves your ass and both sides are, oh no wards rooted win actually they had a hundred men left they call, killed off those sons of the hill why are the dwarven companies still not engaged why are these guys keep running away they're more expendable than the sons of the hill let them get kebabs and <laughs> very aguari just getting shot in the face as well oh my gosh yeah they're just I think they're just pushing on. They don't even give a damn about these, uh, these dwarves. Sons of the Hill, though. They're back. Back for second rounds. They need to send, keep, keep these pikes pushing up, trying to um, force back the battle line. Kill them all! Kill every last one of these damn dwarves. They stink. But yeah, we got cab over here. I mean, are they actually able to capture the point? Oh, it's outside the gate. That's actually kind of hilarious. So there you go. They actually have to defend outside. Oh, this iron hill, this iron guard here might be able to stop them. But the cab might otherwise be able to get in. Could try and capture the point or cause some 
some issues for the dwarves inside, but yeah, they're actually blocking choke points over here. They're, they're, they're boxing themselves in, it seems, really. They, they're they're going to try and fight for it on the bridge by the looks of it. It might be a bit of a painful slog, but it is also quite fun to watch. It's absolute chaos on this bridge. It looks awesome. Does look cool. I'm having a good fun watch. Oh, who's firing? Oh, Iron Hill crossbows over there. I'm having good fun watching the crossbows fire off, like fire their volleys in and just like kill, like snatch a random orc or evil man. Maybe a dwarf if it's a, a real bad shot. These uh, company, yeah, they're dying pretty easily. I mean, what we've got now coming in, Maddock Warriors coming in. Send those boys in. They can start hammering away at these, uh, these orcs and evil men. Pikes as well, trying to push up, I think. Don't know if they're... Uh, I don't think they're pulling through. I think it's... Certainly trying to maneuver on this bridge was a bit of a pain, if I remember correctly. Certainly, this is from a defending aspect. Can't, can't imagine what it was like as an attacker. Probably a nightmare. Oh my gosh. We can get a really cool bird's eye view, though. Both sides just fight for their lives at this bridge. It looks like we're about to... Oh, Cav got a pretty good charge off there on a shock infantry unit. Very Mithrin veterans just got absolutely stampeded by bending the steps. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's an uh, Aaron Miss from Veteran, you like, just got reduced to nothing. It's a bit of a waste there. It's now 3,000 versus 2,500. We've got Iron Guards now moving up. In they go. Run, boys. Run. Back on this side over here. Looks like the artillery... Oh, no, it's moved to this side. Okay, are they going to try and put a hole in a wall? Or are they just shooting... Shooting reserves, maybe? I don't know. The artillery for the uh, dwarves is still uh, very much alive. And it also seems like it's just been shooting at big blobs. Or whatever blobs there are left for the attackers. Especially over here. It seems like they've been shooting this champions of dog lore quite a lot. The attacks are nearly through. They are nearly through. There's one last push, and they'll break the spine of this Dwarven defense on the bridge. Fight on, men. Dwarven company still in here. Should have broken by now. Cavalry over here is still causing all sorts of problems for the dwarves. Actually, routing up. Karnan River Guard. I don't know how they've managed that. Like charging into the speed unit, it's, sacri it's like a sacrifice really in itself. Being in steps, getting some pretty good kills. I don't know what what the plan is here with the uh, the pikes. Is this cab just gonna charge straight into spears? Definitely not a good idea. Do not charge into he Iron Guards, guys. It does not end well. They just push the Iron Guards backwards. They didn't really flatten them. But this formation's kind of breaking up here. And Iron Guards are losing. Actually, that kind of didn't work. Weirdly enough, how did that work, Ben? Steps, how did you manage that? Um, but they've only managed to be scared, scared off by shock infantry coming potentially in as a reinforcement. Um, artillery, though, I mean, if they wanted to, they could just shoot this entire big blob of uh, shock infantry here, including another day nine foot. Oh no, it's the same day, day nine foot. I don't know why I said another one. It's just the same guy. I don't, it's like the, the first one never died. So, of course, it's the same one. I can't see him, to be fair, but Dane, he's doing his thing. We'll leave him to it. Look at this, Manic Warriors. They're wavering, and once they're dead, 
The bridge is in the hands of the evil men. And there you go. I think it's been broken. Oh, this camera is a nightmare on the bridge. But they have got a, uh, a dwarven axe infantry that's now ready to defend the next layer. And the pikes, they get this glorious job of defending it. It's one of the foot, foot of this bridge. Theirs and theirs only to defend. Still so 10 minutes after the siege, and it's fa finally balanced. Which, uh, to be honest, when it's finally balanced, just put it in favor of the dwarves, I'd say. Both sides have around about 2,000 men left. Valley on over there. I don't think they've got. Oh no, they do have some infantry to still come in over here. Very ag warriors and some more very ag warriors. Got pole arm. Some of the use over there. It looks like the spears and the shotgun like butchered here by a uh, very ag lancers. Got a silver chevron. My gosh, they're doing well. They're killing a lot of elite units off. I think. But yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to when this new assault arrives. It also looks like there's. More, yeah, more Loki Mace Merm. We've got pole arms over there. It seems like it's got still like a decent decent force to charge out on that side there. We also have crossbows over here. They're setting up. Here come the Iron Fortress Guardians. Here go the dwarves, keep bowing away. They just don't know when to give in. These dwarven axe infantry are actually kind of quite well armored. Got like chainmail on, a bit of armor. I don't know if the da counters is heavy infantry. Uh, medium axe infantry. Oh, it makes sense. So the uh, dwarven, uh, sort of the arable axe, uh, axe infantry, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we have shock infantry going in now. Matic warriors taking on those uh, very ag warriors. No surprise that the uh, the very ags who haven't been charged by cab are winning that fight. Pikes now coming forward though on this other combat over here, which is. Between some very good and some, uh, well, some swords. My men have given up and are running for their lives. And there you go, heavy, uh, heavy pikes might get flanked here as these very ag bowmen, sorry, these very ag uh, warriors that have just won against the Maddox. Or are we going to see them just charge straight into the, uh, the, uh, the Iron Hill? Crossbows, they are going to go for the crossbows. It's probably a smarter move because then they can silence them once and for all by killing them all. Shocking which over here losing there. Why is this one losing? I wonder if it's because this crossbow up here, the Iron Forge Guardians, is put by a player supporting, supporting the fight down here. Well, supporting the Dwarven fight, that is. Not the. Uh, not the the very icon. Ward's rune going in. We just need to flank the dwarves here. Flank the dwarves. They got a chance. Iron Hill though. Troops though here. The Iron Guards. They look gorgeous. They really do. They literally epitomize what an Iron Hill dwarf should look like. Ingo, the yellow Kurium in the back there. The crossbows up here must be getting some merciless shots right now. Yeah, they're literally firing to the backs of these troops here. So as soon as they flank, which is a good move, you just get punished for it. Because the uh, the defenders have got a really good flanking shot onto your back. Like, this guy just needs a point and aim. He doesn't even need to like, do much more than that. Well, not even aim, sorry, just point. The 
Dawes still fighting on down here. Anhill Warriors exhausted. They'll have to carry on fighting for their king. Where is ba uh, Bane? Where is Dane? I mean, imagine if it was Bane. That would be an interesting uh, total war. Like uh, a DC. DC total war. Batman, Bane, Superman. You know, like the whole Justice League. I mean, they kind of moved off the bridge. They're now, like, kind of at the foot of the bridge. But they're making a bit of progress with the uh, evil man here. Matagor is here getting to uh, three bronze shells. That's pretty damn impressive. Locri and Wade winning over here against uh, Iron Hill Warriors. It's kind of an interesting matchup, to be fair. I don't know who would win, but it's interesting to see. Lokirim, you know, I feel like my guys could do a little bit of a buff. I feel like they got nerfed into the ground when Gondor, and they kept trashing Gondor. So they're battling on here. Seeing if they can uh, hold these guys in place. They need to get some crossbow support, like uh, these uh, Iron, Hill, Iron Fortress Guardians here. Just shoot into the flank all these guys here. There's a lot of Kroom Halberds. Just can kill them. There's a general down here that's in a little bit of trouble. Might need to save him, get him out of trouble. But he's well protected by his finest spearmen in the whole kingdom, the Iron Guards. You can ask for no better warrior to defend you or the Iron Hills. And look at that, look at this formation of dwarves forming up out here. I don't know if these are about to go into battle or what, but maybe it's just a show of strength, but there's like, plenty of dwarves left that are yet to go in. Probably showing that it probably could have been a little bit better balanced, um, which I have held my hands up and say, yeah, it probably could be a little bit better. It's still is relatively close. I mean, problem is there are 2,000 dwarves and a lot of dwarves left at the end. So yeah, I did. I did hold my hands up. I was like, guys, we could we could probably make it close. So I do apologize. Because often I do organize sort of scenarios. So if it's not usually close enough, I do usually like. Well, it's usually some. Uh, I've organized the scenario. I'll be the one to first apologize quite happily. Oof. Like the other guys, they can only do so much. They're only here to play the game. I'm for just guarding, shooting in the back. I have to do like an umbar scenario, like I said earlier in the video. Certainly, like men versus men, a bit easy to uh, like organize because you have like uh, umbar attacking or raiding like a gondol settlement. Polarms here, though, they're getting shot on the back, winning decisively, apparently. Not sure how that works. The cavalry moving, though. Very egg lances, they're getting ready to move. Can they just charge the Iron Hill Warriors here? Nope, they're going to charge the back of the general here. In he goes. Yeah, I mean, actually, it was a nice little gap that they found there to charge that general. Whether that will kill him, I don't know. Might do. Dane, by the way, is just kind of chilling in the gate. My guy's just kind of given up. The troll's getting sent in. Ready to smash up, knock away these Iron Hill Warriors. Look at that. It's like, get out of my way. I've got a settlement to get to. Oh, no, he's dead. Rip in peace. This guy's still alive, though. For now. Keep swinging that big old club, sir. I mean, the crossbows again could just shoot these uh, very egg lances, just waiting patiently. She's like, yes, yeah, screw it. I'll just shoot them if they're going to stand there. I mean, look at all these uh, uh, Iron Hill Warriors and stuff that are just <laughs> being kept in reserve. Insane amount of troops. Oh, brutal volley onto the very glance as they charge into the, uh, into the swords there. I'll do a lot of uh, damage to the charge because... Uh, oh, missiles used to at least, and I think they still do. They do just slow down charges. But just a silver chevron to that very glance there. It's pretty impressive. I've got to give them that. Iron Hill crossbows and stuff like that. 
trying to get some shots over here. We have Kamul in here. Olag high. Then you get the remains of their army. Just get them into the fight. Why not? But yeah, it looks as though the dwarves are going to hold the city for now. Doesn't look like either side's going to beat them. So I think the dwarves are going to win uh, on a draw, basically. Draw always goes in favor of the defenders. Because they're like, well, defending against the settlement. If the attackers fail to take it, it's kind of a win. So yeah, the Locurium here look like they're going to be unsuccessful in breaking through. But there you go. A draw for the uh, Iron Hills. And we'll end the replay and have a quick look at the end results. So like I was saying, this was a uh, a scenario that we did on the Discord. If you want to join the Discord to send in your own replays or join some scenarios, feel free to join. The link is down below in the description. Some massive kills here on both sides, to be fair. And fair enough for the, uh, for the attackers. They had... Uh, well, they had to kill the dwarves, and there's not so many dwarves to kill as there are evil men and orcs uh, quite often. Um, but yeah, so uh, this was from Cyrus's perspective. Um, so we'll start with him, because uh, like I said, I dropped, so I lost my perspective. 625 kills for this Iron Hill Warrior. It still was relatively healthy. Wow. 231 for the Matic Warriors here. 236 for Aramith from Veterans. Um, his Iron Guard's getting 167. His crossbow's 284. Some nice kills there. Myself playing as another Iron Hills army. Yeah, 130 with one of my Iron Hills warriors. Um, but then, like, my army kind of got kind of chewed up quite quickly. My uh, range did well, though. 226, 204. Uh, 166 for the Khan and Hunt is pretty good. Then we have Omens playing as another Iron Hill army. 128, 158 kills with his Iron Hill Warriors. Uh, his Manic Warriors getting 157 kills. Every Myth and Veterans, 244, 364 with the Sons of the Hill. Uh, Pike's getting 115, and one of his crossbows getting 255. Then we have Major Sharp playing as the fine Iron Hills army with most of his men still alive at the end. I think he had most of the reserves. Um, 119 with the Dwarven Company here, 235 with the Maddock Warriors, 203 with the Warriors of Arid Mithra in here, and they're still healthy, 354 with the Dwarven Axe Infantry, uh, 223 with these oh, with Dwarven Axe Infantry there, 213 with the Arid Mithra and Crossbows, 244 with the Iron Fortress Guardians, then we have Captain Dane players, playing as the Eastlings, um, I mean 155 with the Locrian Macemurn, um, and then we, what else we got here, Varric Bowman getting 194, 106 and 100 kills with the Khanish sentries here, 140 kills with his warlords of rune. Then we have Rizza playing as Khand, 187 kills with his Khanish berserkers, 168 with the Eastern Legionaries, 132 with the Wayne Rider Spear Warriors, 149 with the Variag Bowman, and 130 kills with his Variag Bowman down here. Then we have Banana, Holy Banana playing as Dogledore, 261 kills with Kamul. So very, very nicely done there. His uh, Goldor Glaives, 159, one of them got. His uh, Champions of Dol Goldor, though, all did well. All, all over 100, uh, 200 kills, sorry. The best getting 291. Um, and then his Trolls, 304 kills with one, 242 with another. And his Orange getting 118 kills. Dol Goldor actually did pretty well. Then we have Zahn playing as the final Eastling army. Uh, 111 kills with his Bane of the Steps. 102 kills with his uh, Variag Warriors. 113 with the Warlords. And then his... Uh, Archers 189 and 109, and his very glance is getting 374 kills. Wow, a very good end uh, result there for them. But there you go, guys. That is today's uh, siege battle. The Iron Hills did hold out after failing to hold at Dale. They managed to hold their stronghold at the Iron Hills. I hope you guys did enjoy. Do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new on here, and I'll see you in the next one.